Hi, we're here with? Das Williams. I'm your assembly member for Oxnard and Santa Barbara in Ventura. Great. So, Das, why do you like supporting the Santa Barbara International Film Festival? Well, it's a really important part of our local economy. Uh, it draws a lot of people up into our neck of the woods. And, of course, late January, early February is a good time for people to come here um, uh, because you can be at the beach all day long. Uh, and the film festival, I find, can also be one of the most important cultural events of the year. It's one of the best places to find really good quality Spanish language films. Um, one of the only opportunities you can do that um, uh, locally. And, uh, you know, it's also a whole lot of fun. Awesome. And any particular film you're, or genre you're looking forward to seeing? Well, again, I, I try to make it a point to see as many of the Spanish language films I, as I can. I'm also looking forward to a, a movie called Skatistan. That is a movie about uh, skaters in um, Kabul, uh, Afghanistan. So that should be interesting. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. Thank you for talking to us. We're sorry that um, uh, Chris and Scott Carnes couldn't be here, but we're glad that you're here at least. Uh, yeah, I'm sure a lot of people are disappointed she's not here. Well, you have to deal with me, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, actually, you're the person that made the film, that's important. I was thinking that this is a sort of topic that the French don't always like to talk about. It's a little, you know, awkward. Not necessarily on that particular topic, but uh, usually uh, when French people feel guilty, they don't like to talk about it. You know? so, uh, since they feel guilty about this specific part of World War II, you know, it's an event that happened in France during World War II, they don't like to have that truth coming out, you know, but um, it's more... I'm sorry, because I wasn't expecting that question, actually. Um, it's not that they're not uh, comfortable or anything, but sometimes they just don't want to talk about it, you know. It's like in families, in uh, families who, who went through the Holocaust, or on the other side, you know, they just don't want to talk about it because war is over. War, we different time. So. Shoot did you film in France and the United States? Yes, uh, we shot a, a week in New York, in Brooklyn, exactly, and uh, that was great. I loved it. Uh, so, and also, this is a bilingual film because I wanted everything to feel real, you know. So, since uh, the main character is an American journalist, she lives in Paris, but uh, she works. Uh, in a you know American paper, so of course they speak English, you know, between the journalists in the, in the in the newspaper. And then when she goes to New York, of course she speaks English. So I just wanted everything to feel real, but my English is not so bad, so it's not difficult. Of course, Chris Scott Thomas is perfect in French. He's absolutely bilingual, so it's going to be. It must have been an interesting partnership. It was, but you know, uh, actually, Christine is very close to the character. I mean, except she's British in real life because she's been um, living in France for 30 years. And she's been married to a French man, and she has French children. So uh, I think she was very happy to uh, make a movie that uh, where, where she could express this size of her personality. You know, yeah. We're very glad to have you here. I'm looking forward to you very, very much. Hope you like it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, guys. Question? Yeah. How long have you been making a film filmmaker for? Uh, I think I, uh, I directed my first movie in 2000, and Sarasky is my sixth. 
And what, um, I mean, you, how does it feel to have opening night at the film festival and it's, it's your film? It feels great. And uh, <laughs> what can I say? Um, it's the US premiere. So this is great to have the opening here because it brings a lot of light to the room, of course. And, uh, and it's an honor because uh, considering this big festival picked us you know, to open the festival. I mean, I don't know, you know, I'm honored. How long did it take you to film the movie? Probably around six months, just the shooting, because you know you have two periods of times. Uh, one half of the movie is set in 1942, the other half is set nowadays. So we split. The, it was like shooting two films, so it was on a long period of time. And okay, what what would right the advice you would have to wrap you up? I'm okay. Sorry. What would be what would be the advice you'd have to film it for filmmakers up and coming? Just make movies. Buy a digital camera, a laptop. Take your friends and do movies. Thank you so much. Okay, awesome. Hi, and your name? Uh, my name is Melanie Ansley. I'm the producer for a Chinese sex shop comedy called Red Light Revolution. Tell us about um, t about your production, your your project. Uh, well, it's uh, China's first sex shop comedy, uh, and uh, so it's about an everyday Beijing man uh, who, due to uh, financial difficulties, decides to enter uh, the industry of opening a sex shop in newly liberalized China, and uh, obviously mayhem ensues. Awesome! Is this your first um, film festival that you're that you're? Film? Yes. Uh, I know we were in Sao Paulo for the Sao Paulo International Film Festival. Uh, just in October, but this is our U.S. premiere, so we're very excited to be at Santa Barbara for it. And, uh, yeah. and this is the director, by the way, Sam Budas. Oh, awesome. Your name? Sam Budas is my name. <laughs> and what? Why? Why do you enjoy? What do you? What do you enjoy most about the experience here at the Santa Barbara Film Festival? Well, I mean, so far we've only been at the Santa Barbara Film Festival for ten minutes, and it's been red <laughs> carpets and, and journalists and lights. You know, what's there not to like? How long have you been making films? Uh, I've been making films since I was about 18, you know, starting out with the Super 8, you know, and, and cutting it uh, on with just the uh, scissors things. So a long time. And what advice would you have for filmmakers out there that, you know, they get, they get frustrated? Uh, my advice for filmmakers would be to, uh, you know, don't put so much pressure on getting it right the first time. A lot of people will get it right the 20th time. Thank you so much for talking to us. No worries. Thank you very much.